What is the difference in where the lamina is located versus the matrix? The answer is, the nuclear lamina is associated with the inner section of the nuclear envelope, whereas the nuclear matrix is an insoluble fibrillar network of scaffolding which extends throughout the nucleus. On this diagram, we can see that the lamina is represented by a blue whiteboard marker, and we can see how it forms an inner mesh-like layer which encapsulates the rest of the nucleus, and it provides support for the nuclear envelope that it lies alongside. I've drawn a cross-section of this nuclear envelope in red with the black dots from representing the ribosomes. And I haven't drawn the matrix on the diagram because it'd be quite hard to incorporate, but it would go in the middle portion where the DNA is. Also, there's a lot of debate over what the nuclear matrix actually looks like. Lots of scientists can argue that it's actually an artifact of preparation techniques used to visualise the cell. And the next question is, which of the following types of intermediate filaments is closely associated with the nucleus? With the options being types 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. And the answer is type 5. Lamins are type 5 intermediate filaments and the lamins are the type of intermediate filaments which are most closely associated with the nucleus. These intermediate filaments can be categorised as either A-type, which includes lamin proteins A on C, or B-type. And furthermore, they differ from cytoplasmic intermediate filaments in that they have an extended rod domain and all carry a nuclear localisation signal. Use your knowledge in the role of a nuclear matrix to suggest how a mutation in one of the lamin genes could potentially cause a human disease such as Emery Dreyfus muscular dystrophy. As the nuclear lamina is made up of lamin proteins, a mutation in the lamin genes would cause the cell to have an incorrectly formed nuclear lamina. For the example of EDMD, research suggests that abnormal changes in lamins A and C cause a destabilisation in the nuclear membrane. This is because the lamina plays a key role in supporting the nuclear envelope and when nuclear envelopes are destabilised, it may cause a knock-on effect of cell damage, which in this case results in a muscle breakdown seen in patients with the disease.